वेलकम एवरी वन टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम माई सेल्फ मौसुमी शाह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट नरोला इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज डाइनिंग फिलोसोफर प्रॉब्लम द डाइनिंग फिलोसोफर प्रॉब्लम पोस्ट बाय डी जे एक्स्ट्रा इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव द सिग्निफिकेंस of the problem is this uh, dining philosopher problem designed deadlock and starvation free solution to a complex problem in computer science the problem is quite simple and as follows five philosopher are seated five philosopher are seated on a round circular table each philosopher has a plate each philosopher has a plate and a fork and in the middle center of the table there is a rice plate so each and every philosopher needs two forks to eat it but only one fork is available for each philosopher one plate is available for each philosopher and only one fork is available for each philosopher but to eat the rice he or she must need at least two fork and the philosopher life is very simple there are two state one is eat and second one is think so philosopher can think and whenever he or she feels uh, hungry then they try to eat food every philosopher indefinitely repeat this state okay so every philosopher indefinitely repeat this states eat and thinking and a philosopher cannot continuously eat okay so after a certain time it will move from eating mode to thinking mode and a uh, philosopher is cannot continuously think also okay after some time it will change his mode from thinking to eating so if philosopher must change his or her state every once in a while so there are uh, some rules so a philosopher must seize at least two fork for suppose this philosopher want to eat rice so for this he she needs this two fork fork 1 fork 2 okay if she avail this two fork after that she can change his mood from thinking to eating so there are some complicated case so for example the case became complicated when the rules that every philosopher has used two forks to eat rice but there are observed okay at arrive an acceptable solution okay this case became complicated when the rule has every philosopher has to use two fork to eat the rice must be observed to arrive in the acceptable solution now here in the system perspective uh, the philosopher are the computer process and the forks are the shared resources when there are enough forks that means when there are enough resources are available in the system the processes are independent and there is no need to synchronization okay 
So the synchronization is not required if there are available resource are there. But if there are some resource which is shared among the computer processes, that time synchronization needed. So here for each philosopher there is one plate and one fork is available. The plate number in a counterclockwise, the plate number is numbering number 0, number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. Same, the forks are also numbering from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the philosopher is also 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So now we have to find the solution for the dining philosopher problem. So in the first attempt, first we say start eating. If two forks are successfully grabbed by the philosopher, okay. A philosopher currently in thinking mode and he or she try to change his mode from thinking to eating mode. Then what he or she do? She will try to accommodate two forks. If the two forks are grabbed by the philosopher, then they start eating. Okay. So, and the second option is put down the fork. After his eating is over, the philosopher put down the forks once at a time. That means after his eating mode is over, the philosopher put down the forks, okay, one at a time. Grab the left fork. It is not really matter which fork is taken by the philosopher. So, we will assume the fork on his left side, he or she grabbed first, okay. So, there is no such rule uh, that he... Uh, will collect the left fork first or right fork first but we assume the fork on his left side will be grabbed first so assume a primitive there are two primitive operation one is grabbed fork and second one is put fork the proper care is taken in writing those procedure to avoid race condition Okay, so to grab the left fork, we have to grab two forks and after the eating mode completed, they should leave the fork, put the fork into the table. So, the proper care is taken in writing this two procedure to avoid race condition. Okay, so here one scenario is there for a philosopher I. That I can be 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1. That is the philosopher number. While 1, that means while true, do this loop forever. So first, it is in thinking mode. And it will be converted, try to convert into the changes mode and move to eating mode. So first, it will grab the left fork first it will grab the left fork then it will grab the right fork so this is a circular cube so i plus 1 mod n okay by using this it will grab the fork then after successfully grab his left and right fork he or she will move to eating okay now after eating he will put left fork then put right fork so this procedure is executed by each philosopher the grab fork and put fork procedure are assumed to be race free procedure okay so in scenario one what happened each philosopher has taken left fork so if all philosopher processes to get point where each one has 
taken the left frog. Now each one has tried to take the right frog. So first each philosopher has taken his left frog at a time all the so scenario one it can be happen that all the philosopher is grab its left fork. Now one tried to take his right fork but there is no by using this function that is grab fork i plus one more den but there is no fork left. So in this situation what happened no fork is each and every fork you see this fork is taken by this philosopher 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 and this fourth fork is taken by this philosopher so all the left fork are taken by each and one philosopher so this will result a circular weight condition which turn indicate a deadlock okay so here a circular weight condition happen and it will move to deadlock and what is scenario 2 in scenario 2 0 and that is 1 number 1 2 3 0 and 3 and 2 and 4 okay so 0 and 3 and 2 or 4 are synchronized are so synchronized that whenever 0 and 3 are eating okay if 0 is in eating mode and 3 is in eating mode okay so it will grab this to four and this 0 this philosopher take this to four okay so when 0 and 3 these two philosopher are in eating mode that time 2 and 4 this philosopher are in thinking mode and as soon as 0 and 3 put down the fork then 2 and 4 can grab the fork immediately okay because they are in a thinking mode so if they want to change their mode from thinking to eating after 0 and 3 put the fork immediately 2 and 4 can grab, grab the fork also whenever 2 and 4 put down the fork 0 and 3 so 0 and 3 can grab them immediately so in this problem starvation can happen the philosopher 1 will starve to death this philosopher 1 is starved to death if the cycle repeat forever suppose 0 and 3 are in 0 and 3 are in eating mode that time these two are in thinking mode after when these two are in thinking mode 2 and 4 are in eating mode so pro philosopher 1 will starve to death if the cycle repeat forever So in second attempt, what happened in this attempt, we will focus on removing the possibility of deadlock. Okay. So in attempt one, we see that there may be if all the uh, philosopher can grab their left fork. So a deadlock condition must happen to avoid deadlock. Okay. So to avoid the hold and wait condition, what happened? The philosopher if get both the fork logical or not get any fork the possibility of hold and wait is removed okay so there for particular philosopher if he get the fork or not get the fork okay i use logical or possibly hold the and wait is removed so the new procedure is grab fork in philosopher number suppose we have prepared as this is a new risk free procedure this is used to grab both the fork 
once at a time whenever possible so now the new condition is void philosopher this is the this i is the number of philosopher that is 0 to n minus 1 if y equals to 1 if this is true then first philosopher is thinking mode it will grab the fork okay if it will grab both the fork then it convert its mode to eating after it will put the left fork and write the uh, put the right fork so this algorithm remove the possibility of a hold and wait so if we use this okay if it will collect both the fork or if will not collect the both the fork in both the condition hold and wait situation is removed hence it is deadlock free starvation if put fork is simply put the fork down the starvation possibly persist similar to attempt one okay so if put fork is simply put the fork down in the table then starvation possibility will persist now thank you for listening these are some reference books so you can take help of this book to understand the dining philosopher problem thank you if you have any query you can contact me